Let's see, Kanye West. No, I get you're, you're explaining that, like you said, you love the Zionists. You don't agree with some of the things they're doing, even though you don't support a lot of what's happening. Seriously, I, I really studied a lot of history. Plus, I had family that was there. And so, I mean, I, I don't think Hitler was a good guy. I get the uh, the Hugo Boss uniforms, amazing. Uh, but, I mean, just because you're in love with the design, you're a designer, can we just kind of say, like, you like the, the you like the uniforms, but that's about no, it. No, we, we, no, I, there, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. Why is he saying hey, it like that? Uh, Netan, what did you think about that, Netan? This is insane. You are an insane person. How could you say something? It's okay that... So let me ask you, you like the Azog Battalion because they openly howl Hitler. They're the leftovers of World War II. They support Zelensky and attacking Russia. So you like the Azog Battalion. I love everyone. Well, my point is you weren't involved... Man. You know, if Kanye... All right. Uh, would have uh, 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 like, he keeps saying he loves everyone. There's a part about that this guy tweeted over here that I can see, but like, yo, the other part where he's like, why did they say so creepy, my guy? Kanye West, Alex Jones, Nazi, wait, 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 Hitler. Let me type in Hitler. Can I get the right, like, clip? This is where he's going, he's going wild. Okay. Unleashed his list. Took a break from... See, um, I, I see, I, I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew, I love everyone, and Jewish people are not going to tell me you can love, um, you know, us, and you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts, and you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good, and I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. How about that one? Ari Emanuel, how you like that one? Hey, Ron, you gonna do anything to fix Chicago? They wanna separate and confuse the Christians and make us afraid to stand next to each other. A Christian can stand next to anyone. We can go visit R. Kelly in prison. We can go talk to Harvey Weinstein. That's what Jesus did. Yes, because Jesus can save everyone. And, but if the Zionists can get us so afraid that they're going to do what they've been doing to me, attempting to put me in jail, freeze my accounts, smearing me on the media, you know, all of these things, you know, you put on the whole armor of God and they will not be able to break your spirit. Oh, CNN says why people are evil Nazis, so... I mean, I, I, I disagree with both statements, but I get the yeah, pros I don't, I don't like the word evil next to Nazis. I think we need to look <laughs> at... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just because you don't like one group doesn't mean the other. Look, I fine. love Jewish people, but I also love Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I have to disagree with that. Since West began okay. publicly making anti-Semitic statements, many are spewing anti-Semitic beliefs everywhere. Anti-Black. going to change too many people. Like and I see other videos too talking about like um he had a whole meltdown on Twitter before this, right? So Kanye West, uh, uh, Alex Jones, Elon Musk, Twitter. He had a uh, like he got banned for saying some crazy shit. Like he says Twitter shit. has uh, reinstated Kanye West. despite all of this. Yay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, not the Young Turks. These guys are a bunch of douchebags. His Twitter account was suspended for trying to cite violence. Went on what many are calling a deranged. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Elon Wait. Musk and the cap. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> After the firestorm of reaction to his comments, Ye posted this tweet that includes a photo of Elon Musk and the caption, "Let's always remember this as my final tweet." Musk later tweeting, I tried my best. Despite that, he again violated our rule against incitement to violence. Account will be suspended. You may recall. So, like, apparently, right before all of this, he was going back and forth with uh, Elon and, like, the incident talking about how, um, yeah, at some point, he mentioned how Chris Paul had actually, uh, like, Kim Kardashian cheated on him with, uh, with him, with Chris Paul. So, it's it's pretty it's pretty wild what happened and then I've seen some people saying okay this is all because Pete Davidson uh, Kanye had sent a truck full of roses to her on Valentine's Day she just threw that shit away 
uh, turn that shit away. And like, because Pete Davidson, I think is Jewish as well. That's why he's got like this whole rant going on about it. And that's why it's still hurting him on the inside. Um, like, so it, it's just crazy. Like the shit he says here is pretty crazy, but when you look at it in the context of that first video that we had seen, I don't know if, if you guys like had gotten part of that where, um, they were talking about the black Jews and stuff like that. Would the only way I would see this, like, with an open mind, I'm not even trying to, like, say he's right. Like, I'm literally, he's, it's, he's saying crazy shit, like, trying to say that you have love for the Nazis and shit like that. But um, what he's trying to say is a Christian, I would think, is the Christ consciousness has love for everybody, no matter how bad they are. So, uh, like, even Hitler, like, Jesus would be able to love Hitler. But, you know, when you put out messages about Chris Paul, like, bagging a wife and stuff like that, that kind of seems like a deterrent right before this happens. But... Um, that's what I think he was, he's not putting it into words, but this is that what he was trying to say. I think I'd, I had a tweet open here too. Like some other dude had kind of said this, a similar thing to kind of show what he says. He says he loves, oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says he loves everybody, even Nazis, because they invented the microphones that he uses and which is what caused most of these careers. So he says he loves everybody, even the surgeon who killed his mom. He's reflecting on the concept of being Christ-like and loving everyone no matter what. Sound bites and viral tweets will ignore the context. This, whoever this is, uh, this one I actually agree with because that's what the Christ consciousness is. It's like literally it could be the most heinous person on the earth and he should still be able to accept them with love. But I feel like it is being twisted a little bit. And then plus he didn't help himself with going on this whole rant and doing this shit. Like, uh, this is where you just seem crazy because then he's just taunting Elon and spraying a hose on the man's head and them fucking meme. I don't know, man. And then when you go talking about your wife, like, you could have just said that. Like, yo, I'm trying to think like Christ and stuff like that. But no, you, just, you start going on to, like, this childish rant. And it's like, yo, just because uh, Pete Davidson has, like, a nine-inch slog and he's Jewish and he's piping your wife, I think you feel some type of way. And I also think you feel some type of way because uh, they froze your bank account with Adidas and stuff like that. So it does come across as hate speech when you start mentioning it in all these contexts with how they pretty much, <laughs> they fucked you from every angle, my guy. <laughs> but I, I don't know, man. You, I think his career is, is pretty much over. He's gone off the deep end because that's where it comes across as hate speech, my guy. And that's where it's like, uh, given the scenario of everything that's happened to you this year, you, you should not be saying that. You know what I mean? Like, um, that, ju that shows like... Uh, clearly you got something against jewish people for that reason and it's like i can see why i mean pete davidson nine inch long fucking kim kardashian i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section about that um the only way i would say in the only reality out of like if you do uh dr strange's one possible reality where it's not hate speech it's like literally he's just trying to show love to the most heinous things possible because that's what jesus would do and that's how the Christ consciousness is unlocked. And if anybody like really follows spirituality to tap into the highest frequency, you have to be able to love everything unconditionally. And that's how you lock blessings. But I don't know if this is him just saying shit or he really is off the deep end. But because of the context of his life, that's why it doesn't really make sense because uh, you get fucked in every direction. <laughs> so, um, that's the only, only scenario where I would say it's not hate speech for that reason. But do I agree with what he said? No, because that is a very sensitive topic to a lot of people. But I don't think he should be banned from the platform for that because it can be taken in that one scenario where it's, it's right. If he actually explained it and didn't be so petty on social media and do all this stupid shit. Like, this is the CEO and you post this as your final tweet. Oh, like if you were trying to do anything and stop trying to be so weird and just made it like a straightforward message, maybe people would be able to sympathize with you. But this is what you go and post, my guy. This is why nobody got no remorse for you. Oh, my God. So he's permanently banned after being unbanned for like less than a week. What was it? A couple of days. And that's where it comes across as anti-Semitic based on the context of his life and not the context of Christ, of what he's really what I would say. He's the, the only good way of looking at it. Um, but yeah, this is why he's been viral all day. Okay, that makes sense. That is a shocker to see the way he said it too, because he's done it so childish too with that little Elmo voice. So if you were really trying to be super serious about it, it does sound like half of him is like being, trying to be in that consciousness and half of him is just being a petty child that got his heartbreak by a hoe who was a porn star for everybody in the streets, man. And that's what it really seems like it is. And his whole career is being uh, like ripped apart. But, um, 
Your spiritual belief, being religious is not for you. You have a mix of Christian beliefs. Same here, bro. Like I gotta, I believe in practically every religion at this point. Like I feel like for me personally, um, like I used to be like, like parts of like different religions. But then when I got to the spiritual journey, especially the past couple of years, I feel like every religion is puzzle pieces to one bigger picture. So that's why I, I appreciate every religion and everything they bring to the table and offer. So everything from Judaism, everything from Christianity, there's things from the Quran that's good. There's good from Hinduism. There's good from everything, I feel like. And when you put them all together, most of them are saying the same exact message in different ways. And uh, humanity is just fighting each other because of egos and that's how we have the crusades and shit like that it's like man it's all part of one picture but parts of the religions is just in my opinion just used to control people and and it's a trillion dollar industry here in the west so that kind of says something but that's that's basically the Kanye West story let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below do you think that he was trying to be like Christ where he's like yo I can I can show love to even Hitler do you think it was genuine at all um I don't know, man, because he, he didn't do it straightforward. He's, the way he's, he's doing it is just childish. So if you're seeing it, okay, if he invented the microphone, right? You are a rapper. You built most of your success off of this. I can see that. It's like literally without Hitler and that that evil, that yin and yang, um, his career, his life would not exist as it is. If they didn't invent microphones, where would you be today? Where would I be today with a microphone in front of me? So that's where I could see that part. Like you have to have the bad to have the good and part of like your life if I was to say anything like you, th that's how everybody should come to appreciate themselves in terms of self-love. Like you have to have the worst moments to have the best moments and create you as you are today. So that's the only way I can see it. Um, let me know what you guys think. She belongs to the streets. I appreciate that, Paul. Amen. Hitler killed too many. <laughs> that's the only thing I can say. The man invented the microphone and helped his career. But bro, um, Kind of showing what happens when a bad bitch leaves you. That's the thing, too. He goes on a rant afterwards. Last part here before we get off this topic. You go on a rant about Chris Paul banging your wife and that she cheated on you with it. And it's like, bro, you just made these crazy ass comments. Deal with the, the this situation before anything. Like, talk about what you were thinking here. At least make it clear. But no, you went on a tangent talking about Chris Paul banging your wife. That was like one of the last tweets you left there. And it's like... You are still on this woman, and it's like Pete Davidson being connected to being a, a Jew is why I feel like you just, there's some, I, that's why I don't feel like genuine love. That's why I was like, uh, this this just doesn't come out in right context. It doesn't seem Christ-like in that type of mentality. So Kanye, Kim has really messed you up. And plus the context of this week, he, she's getting 200K per child, I think, set in a settlement. 200K per child uh, per month. From this dude and she makes more than him so the court systems shitted on this guy just this week the adidas companies also shitted on him um and all the big banks and i believe they're jewish owned too pete davidson's jewish and he banged your wife and then you're gonna say that you love nazis and you don't say it right like oh jesus christ bro this is how you end your career and it's it, this is why it's like bro you are a billionaire either you're doing this shit for clout but you got yourself banned off of twitter you could really just take 10 minutes and just elaborate your thoughts a little bit more clearly instead of doing this shit. So, oh, yeah, yeah. If Paul got one word, two syllabus multiverse. I practically think the same as you would believe, bro. Yo, that's how I view it. I feel like we're all part of one. We're all from one source. So that's why I like I like every religion. I like to study every religion. I like being around. I have friends from every religion because that's how I grew up in New York. I had Jewish friends. I got Christian friends. I got Muslim friends. Every type of religion, Hinduism, everything. And then when I looked into all of them, like, yo, all of these are kind of, they have similar parts that kind of connect. It's just, um, mankind themselves turned it against each other. So that's why I, I just show love to everybody. But bruh, Kanye, there, you could have literally just spent 10 minutes and explained what you were trying to do with this thought process instead of trying to spit bars and showing Elon, the CEO, getting sprayed in the head. And Elon responded to this and was like, yo, I'm just going to use this as motivation to lose weight. So <laughs> Kanye... Rest in peace to your career, my guy. Holy shit. If you guys see this on YouTube, smash that like button for me and let me know what you guys think. This is some crazy shit. She did him dirty like my mom did my dad. <laughs>